guys what's up welcome back to another edition of intuitive angling here and much appreciated you guys making a little bit of time out of your day to watch the videos as always and today i'm going to do a follow-up on the video i did yesterday on how to choose a spinning reel uh things to look for and things that you don't want to look for because i got a bunch of comments about when i was talking about i don't use a drag and nobody should use a drag um, I want to clarify that and talk about that. And I, I did a video last year on this, but I think a lot of people maybe have joined the channel since then. And I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys a detailed breakdown why you should never use a drag on a spinning reel. I don't care how good the drag is. And I'm going to go over that. And by the, by the end of the video, um, you know, I'd be curious to know your opinion if the, your opinion is still the same about that. But real quick, I just want to remind everybody we're getting real close to hitting 60,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. It looks like we're going to be hitting it, I'm guessing, probably within the next week or, or sooner. And when we hit 60,000, we got another big giveaway coming up. We got a bunch of Bridgeford beef jerky, solar bat sunglasses, uh, cigar fishing line. All you have to do to be eligible for that drawing is to just be subscribed to the channel. It's much appreciated. And half you dudes are not subscribed that are watching these videos, man. So show show the channel a little bit of love and hit that subscribe button. And also hit the notification button. That way you guys know when new videos come up. Okay, let's talk about this real deal. Um, I'm going to say right off the bat, guys, that um, one of the biggest myths and one of the biggest fads and one of the biggest things that is simply not right in the sport is guys using drags on spinning reels. And I know that's a lot of you guys are gonna get bent out of shape about that, but I'm gonna explain why. When I've talked about this before in the past, inevitably I get comments saying, <coughs> Randy, <coughs> excuse me, you're a dinosaur. Um, that's the way people did it 40 years ago. Um, if you get a good drag, the, you, don't have, you don't have to back reel if you get these good drags. Guys, it doesn't make, I don't care if you got a, $2,000 spinning reel, one of those high dollar Shimano's or Daiwa. I don't care if you got the smoothest, the best drag made. That's not the point. It's still not as good as back reeling. What the deal is on this is when you, and you know, this is something I've experimented with. This I'm not just talking about this because I've never tried it. I've spent hundreds of hours experimenting with both and I've done both forever. And I've come to the conclusion long ago that back reeling is the only way to go. So what happens is you see these elite series guys out there that, you know, they get these big small mouth on with braid to fluorocarbon and they're stripping line out like that when the fish makes a run. Guys, that is not right. Those dudes, I, don't, I got a lot of respect for those guys out there, all the spinning, you know, masters out there. But those guys learned that way since they were little and it's not the way to do it. I promise you, if you learn to back reel and you master back reeling, you will lose fewer fish when those fish make a run you will break fewer lines off if you can do that the whole key about back reeling is that of it's how much immediate ability you have to react to a fish's movement so let's say for example you got some light line like six pound test line and you've got uh you know one you got a four pounder that's hooked by one barb that's barely hooked in there when a fish like that makes a run you can control exactly how much pressure that you want to put on that fish by back reeling and you can do it instantly there's no there's no guesswork there's no guessing if the, if you set the drag just at the right uh you know setting so that fish doesn't pull out or there's no guesswork if you if you're trying to strip the line out on your drag and the fish is running too fast which is going to cause you problems too by learning to back reel you can control the fish. You get you get control of the fish from the time that you hook that fish while you're fighting it the entire time. So the whole key, key with that is you read the fish's movements. You read how that fish is moving. You take up line when you can and you let them have line when they want line. And a lot of it has to do with the, with the pound test that you're using, the type of hooks that you're using, how well you think the fish is hooked, if there's any cover in the water for those fish to get around. It is something I don't, and, and I've caught 37 pound stripers on six pound test line back reeling before. I don't care how big the fish is, you are not going, a fish is not gonna outrun your ability to back reel on that. Normally what I do with mine is I, is I keep my drag pretty tight. I'm, I don't even care if I have a jaw, I gotta have it locked down because 
but you know because that ensures me a good hook set and then when i start fighting the fish i try to read each fish based upon the movement that it's making and i know from experience how much pressure that i can put on a fish and how much i have to back reel how how fast I have to back reel or how slow I have to back reel based upon the pound test line that I'm using and the hook diameter that I'm using. Guys, the only drawback about back reeling is it takes a lot of time to master it. And this, it's sort of like something about you guys out there that like to fish with electronics. That comes, you get good with electronics by spending a lot of time with your electronics. And this, it's the same with back reeling you have got to spend a lot of time doing it. And what I would recommend you guys doing is get out there and go like snag a carp or snag a gar or, or fish for catfish with six pound test line on a spinning rod, a big fish that will force you to have to back reel. And once you practice with that, you can become so good about it that you can instantly react to a movement that the fish makes. You cannot do that on a drag. I don't care, guys, I don't care how smooth a drag is. It doesn't make any difference. It is simply not the way to go about it. And I'm, I'm, I'm not saying this just to hear myself talk. I'm, te I'm telling you guys this because I wanna help you out, not lose so many fish or not break your line as much. And I would say the same thing to all those guys out there that dominate on the Elite Series. You see they got their fluorescent yellow braided line to fluorocarbon and they've, they're stripping line out with their drags. I would tell the same thing to those guys. This guy, guys, you're awesome, but you'd be even more awesome if you use straight fluorocarbon and learn to back reel. You'd, you'd even be more awesome than you are. So anyway, guys, I want to pass that along there. Um, like I said, I have got, you know, 50 years working with this experiment and everything. So I'm not just saying this to, you know, just to make a video on it. So give it a try, guys. If you are one of those guys that back reel, that uh, use a drag, stop using that drag, start back reeling and get a spinning reel that has an anti-reverse. All these if these spinning reels are start coming out with with no anti-reverse on them to me that's worthless i don't i would never use one of those that doesn't have an anti-reverse so anyway help i think it's going to help you guys lose a lot less fish uh, let me give it a try and let me know what you think about it you know instead of saying you know randy that's the most ridiculous thing i ever heard and you know you're not as good as brandon brandon polinick or chris zaldane with a spinning outfit i'm not claiming to be as good as those guys are fishermen but i am claiming to be able to control and maneuver a fish better back reeling than they can by using a drag. So anyway, I hope that helps out guys and we'll talk soon. See you.